everyone welcome back to my channel my name is shweta and on this channel we talk all about digital products marketing tutorials and platform reviews so if that is something you're interested in definitely hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos today's video is all about loom it is a chrome extension that you can use to screen record videos and you can also use it to share videos where you're just talking on the screen but if you have never used loom if you don't know how to get started this is going to be the right video for you i have personally been using loom since uh, 2017 when i think it was a very very new platform i was just getting started online as a freelancer and i used loom to kind of share information information with my clients and just like get information from from them and just keep track of everything through like screen recording so if i was setting up email automation for them i would just share my screen and show them how it was set up how they could use it and so on and i also currently use loom to record my youtube videos i know no one probably uses Loom for YouTube videos, but I do because I find the platform so much easier to use. So I hope you like this video. Before we get started with the video, I want to share uh, the pricing details. And uh, again, if you don't want to, you know, like hear about this, you can definitely skip ahead using the timestamps. But let's go ahead and talk about pricing first. It's funny because I'm recording this screen share with Loom, but let's look through Loom's plans. So again, like I said, Loom, when they started, they had a free plan. Right now they do have a free plan, but the only thing with this free plan is you can only record up to five minutes of video. So if this is something you're using with your clients to just like share information with them, this could work great for you. But if you're using it for longer videos or tutorials, tutorials i would encourage you to go for the business plan which is eight dollars a month i am currently on this plan and this has unlimited videos and unlimited recording length and then you also have transcriptions you can have closed captions which is great as well you can use custom branding and you can also embed links in in, in the video itself. So this is a great option if you want to use Loom for something more than just sharing information, but otherwise you can definitely get started with the starter plan. So let's get into Loom. So just so you know, I generally use Loom to record my YouTube screencasting videos, but since we are doing a tutorial on Loom today, I can't use Loom, so I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. So hopefully everything goes fine. But the first thing I want you to do is go to loom.com. If you already don't have the Loom uh, Google Chrome extension, which is right here for me, and if you don't have a Loom account. So if you go to loom.com, you will just click here on get, get Loom for free. And then you can just sign up using either Gmail, Google email, whatever it is. I'm just going to sign up using a different email address just to show you the process. And just, I agree. And again, like you can choose what you're going to use Loom for. And you can name the workspace. I'm just going to keep it as is. Uh, if you want to have a collaborator, you can do that. But I'm not going to do that for now. And then uh, if you don't have the Chrome extension, it'll ask you to download the Chrome extension here. And they also have a desktop app that you can download. I think the account is created. This is just to start the recording, but I'm going to go back to my account. And first we're going to talk about how you're going to use the Chrome extension to start recording the screen or even yourself if you're just talking. And then in the second part, I'll show you how to go inside loom.com where you can edit your videos and change a few things around. So let me go ahead and log in into my account. 
so this is my personal loom account which which i currently use and you can see there's a ton of videos i've been using loom for a long long time so for now we're gonna go to a different screen so this is a screen you want to record your video on so let's say you were recording a tu canva tutorial for your client or for youtube for example this is where you would go and then you should have already downloaded the chrome extension you'll see the chrome extension here just click on that and these are the different options that will be available for you so let's first talk about screen and camera so here you can see it's going to record my screen as well as me on camera right here so this is one option the other option is screen only which i generally use for screen recordings but again it depends on how you want to do it and the next is camera only this is if you only want to record yourself, uh, you would use that option. For now, I'll just use the screen and camera. And then again, recording settings, you want to make sure you have the right camera selected here and you also have the right kind of uh, sound input selected. And then in advanced options, you can flip your camera. If I do it now, you're going to probably see my couch or something else, but okay you can flip your camera camera like this uh you could use photo for screen only and you can remove this control menu that you have right here uh by using this and then you can have a recording countdown you want it on or off so i generally like a recording countdown because you know it tells me when the video is going to start and then it also shows you the recording time so you can see that or you can remove that so there these are some advanced settings or advanced options that you could choose from and then the other important option here is full desktop so let's say if i wanted to record like different screens so if i was switching between you know different screens here and back you would want to choose full desktop but if you're only recording your current screen so if i wanted to only record on this canva uh, page I would use current app but I generally would go for a full desktop option if especially if you're doing like uh, a video tutorial or something because just in case if you want to go to a different screen it would not record that screen so make sure you're using full desktop here and then create a recording canvas so if you want to create a canvas of sorts like this where uh, you you know you would just want to share some text uh, some uh, templates or something you could do that and again this is a newer feature in loom uh, it did they did not have this when you know i just started using loom probably back in 2017 and here you have different options so you could change the background here so maybe you know this is something that you might want to use uh, again you know you if if you're doing a tutorial you'll probably not use this but if you're you know trying to talk to a client or if you're you know onboarding a client into your uh, coaching program or service this could be a great option uh, if you are trying to uh, you know create an intro video for your digital product you could also do that here you could use this background and then maybe add some text uh, like this so let me choose this and you could add this text here like welcome or something like that and there's uh, multiple text layouts that you could use so you could use something like this with bullet points and then you could also use templates so they have a bunch of templates so here hello i i like this template for an intro introduction video of your course or your coaching program or your service anything of that sort it gives a very personal feel and it's really easy to use you could also use this here and uh, you know like do something maybe move your camera right here pretty cool right so uh these are this uh these are some of the different things you could do with a recording canvas the other option here is this uh photo where you're talking so there are a bunch of options you can change the background so you could have no uh no background which is basically your background will be what you currently have as your background behind you i like to use blur because it just blurs the image or the background behind me which is helpful you can also use different colors so if if you have uh, brand colors that are like either of these 
you could use those uh, so you can use these settings I'll just choose that for now and then here you can also choose how small or big you want your photo to be so if you do this uh, now I've become pretty big the light isn't good at all but that's fine if you do this it's a little smaller and then you also have this option where it's the smallest and then you can also hit on that cross if you just wanted to remove yourself from the video so uh, these are some options when you're actually going to record the video all you have to do is uh, you know just like start recording there's a button of course it's not showing me here because I'm already recording this video but you'll have a start recording button here that you can click and start recording the video and then when you're done you can just uh, you know there's going to be a stop button here you can either pause using this or you could directly stop and if you know if it's something that you don't want to use you could also just delete it right from here so those are your recording options now let's go ahead and get into loom and i'm just going to close this and just talk through this library here so we're inside loom right now so every video that you uh create using loom it's going to get stored here all of the videos are going to be available here so again like i said you could also use loom when you're working with clients and if you have to share something with them either you know some homework you've given them that you're reviewing or if you're a service provider maybe you're sharing like the process that you're taking or you need some info input from them you could record those things here as well so i'm just going to open one video and show you the different options so if you were you know sharing the video with a client you could directly share this link and send it to them or you could just like click here share and you can add their email address here and then under privacy settings you can say that anyone with this link can view the video right so that's what we want so you could do that or again share it on social which i generally don't do or you can embed it on your website so if it's a quick tutorial about something like if it's a sales page for example you could embed this video on that sales page as well so those are the options when it comes to sharing the video the one thing that i really like which i recently found out is you can review your transcript which means it shows you the complete transcript of your video which you could easily copy from here and paste it on your blog or if you want to add it to your youtube video description you could use it there or for your digital products for your podcast whatever it is right you don't need to pay for a tool to get a transcript for your videos if you're using Loom. So that's another amazing feature here. And then video preferences, again, tons of features. You can remove Loom branding here. You can add uh, emoji, you can add emoji reactions. So if you've shared this video with someone, they could add emojis as reactions. Viewers can download. So if you want this video to be downloadable by, uh, by the person you're sharing it with, you could do that here. And they also have something in beta called reduce background noise, which I really like. So if you're using Loom to, you know, share videos on YouTube or any other platform that's a little, little more formal, you could use this feature as well. And if you want to receive email notifications for comments, you could do that. You could also turn on uh, the record a reply. So they, the, so someone could record a reply to this video and share it as a comment, which is great when you're working with clients and using this with them. The next thing is trim videos so again you can use loom to edit videos and they have updated this a little bit so it's more easy so you could you know cut down the video you could also like uh there was an option to split so you could like split the video you could also like trim the video right so you can do some basic edit basic editing in uh loom itself which which i really like although i use imovie to do my editing uh this is a great feature to have and then call to action so if this is a video that you're sharing as like a free masterclass or something and you want to add a call to action towards the end you could do that as well this is also a great option where you could use your branding 
So change the color, uh, do like some basic branding, add a link for the call to action, great option. So if you're recording a masterclass or a workshop that you're using to sell something else, this could be a great option. And then of course you can change your thumbnail again, a great option for, uh, if you're embedding this video or sharing it with someone else. So again, like I said, uh, Loom has some great features, whether you're a beginner or even like in the intermediate stages, it's a great option to have. Again, let's, let's look at some of the other things that you can do here. You can copy the link. Same thing as sharing. You can move it to a folder. I don't have folders yet or libraries. Maybe, you know, that's something I should be doing. So you can move, uh, you can create a new folder. So I could just say YouTube and I could move it here. And then you can start the video. So if, if, so there's a folder called start. So if you want some video that's important to you, you can just store it in a different folder. You can duplicate the video. You can archive the video. I did archive a ton of videos when Loom introduced their paid plans, uh, because I was going way over the video number. Uh, but again, like right now I'm on the paid plan, so it doesn't really matter, but you can do that. You can download the video, which I generally do to upload it on YouTube. And then you can also delete the video completely. Uh, notifications again, this will show you all the notifications. Uh, you know, so if someone watched the video, if they commented or something like that, you'll get those here. And then here you can basically get to the help center. You can talk, uh, look through ways to use loom and what's new. So this is a great place to be if you want to understand how you can use Loom better. And then here on the left side, you can just see your workspace. You can invite team members if you wanted to. Uh, you can you see your library. So this is a personal library. This is where I have everything. You can also look at shared with me videos. So if someone shared a video with you on Loom, you could see that here. And then if you have a team, uh, you could, you know, build up your team library here. And this is again, the other folders. So start, we just spoke about and then archived. I, I, like I told you, I have like a ton of videos archived and then under settings, you could create your workspace. You have personal settings again, how you show up on loom, etc. So, yeah. So, you know, like I said, and again, you can use integrations as well. So like I said, Loom is a great tool. It's one of my favorite tools when it comes to, you know, easily using a platform to create something. And, you know, it's not difficult to use pretty easy and straightforward. So if you haven't checked out Loom yet, definitely go to the link in the description box and check it out. Uh, and that's it for this video. If you like the content, if you're interested in digital products and, you know, marketing tools and tech tutorials, definitely stick around by subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video.